we go. So I've already written it in the matrix form. First things first, row one is going to stay. And this is just kind of how I do it when I'm working with um, these augmented matrices. If I had this as a normal system of equations, I might try to get rid of the z's first. But since we're still kind of getting used to it, let's go ahead and eliminate the x's first. So we're going to let row one stay. And we're going to use row one to get zeros in column one. So I need to get this zero first. So I'm going to multiply this by negative three and add it to that. So negative three plus three will get me zero. That's what I want. So row two is going to become negative three times row one plus row two. So negative three plus three is zero like I planned. Six minus five is one. Negative three plus one is negative two. Negative 14 plus 14 is zero. So let's make sure I'm still okay. Zero, one, two, oops, uh, negative three, ha. Huh. Negative 21 plus 14 is negative seven. It's always good to have something watching, someone watching your back on these because it's easy to make mistakes. We keep moving. So now I need to make this a zero. So again, I'm going to use row one to do it. So I'm going to do negative two times row one plus uh, row three. So row three is going to become negative two times row one plus row three. Again, using row one to make zeros in column one. So negative two plus two is zero. Four minus two is two. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Negative 14 plus 3 is negative 11. Let's see how I did. Awesome. All right. So now that we have zeros in column 1, we want to get uh, zeros in column 2. And if you want to go for um, just um, Gaussian elimination, just non this, just this zero will do. If you want to do the full Gauss-Jordan, you could get both of those to be zero. I'm just going to go for this one and yank it out of the matrix as soon as I can. So, and now we're going to let both row one and row two stay. And we're going to go get zeros in, uh, zeros in column two using row two. So I'm going to let row one and row two stay exactly the same. And I'm going to use row two to get my zero in column two. Now you might be tempted to use row one and say, oh look, if I add those together, it goes away, but don't do it. If you do it, you'll lose that, you'll lose that zero that you worked so hard to get. I know, I've done it when I was first learning before many times. I kept losing the zeros. So if you use row two to get zeros in column two, you're going to be safe. So uh, row three is going to become negative two times row two plus row three. Negative two times row two plus row three. So negative two times zero plus zero. Ah, I keep that zero that I worked so hard to get. Negative two plus two is zero. 4 minus 3 is 1, 14 minus 11 is 3. See how I did? Awesome. So now at this point, uh, if you really wanted to go full bore, you could multiply this by row 2 and uh, add it to row 1 to get a 0 there. And then you'd be done with that, and you could use row 3 to get zeros in column 3 and get all these to be zeros and have that lovely identity matrix on this side and your answers on that side. But we're kind of sick of these matrices now, so just this lower triangle will do. I'm going to yank it out of the matrix now. So remember, these were the x's, the y's, and the z's. So this last row translates to 0x plus 0y plus z equals 3. So, oh my gosh, z equals 3. Check, we've got one. Now hopscotch up here, and this means that 1y minus 2z equals minus 7, so y minus 2 times 3, 6, equals minus 7, so y is negative 1. Let's see how I, oh man, 
Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Y is negative one. Excellent. And then uh, we're going to hopscotch up here and we're going to say x minus 2y plus z is 7. So x uh, plus 2 plus 3 equals 7. So x plus 5, so x is 2. And we did it. I do. Yes. So the x is 2, the y is negative 1, and the z is 3. And you could check that. You could put in x is, is 2, y is negative 1, and z is 3 to every single one of the original equations, and it'll work, because it is awesome like that. And so play around, have fun with it, like do it without the matrix, do it with, kind of compare. It's a system of organizing things that sometimes makes things harder for us to see because we're getting used to it. But enjoy.